Morning boys and girls, friends, enemies, whoever. Um, did about 75 miles the other day, that long video. I know you all got bored and didn't watch it. That's fine, I didn't care. Instead of over editing it, I just stuck it up. But the upshot is, I did 80 odd miles, a lot more than shown on the video, and obviously I cut a lot out. Glad I did. Um, by the end of it, I was sort of back into the swing. I know that sounds silly, but because I hadn't ridden for so long. But on the home straight, if you like, the last few miles, look at those clouds. Oh, deep joy. Not supposed to rain until about eight, nine o'clock tonight. Do you believe them? <laughs> uh, yeah, but it wasn't until towards the end, like the last 20 or so miles I've been out since, so my question is really, all the summer riders that sort of park their bikes up for the winter. How rusty are they on their first ride out? And do they actually know they're rusty? Perhaps we've got some summer riders here. Do you actually feel that you're rusty? Silly question, but it just come to mind. Stay there, MacGyver. Never trust them at that junction. A um, couple of times, there's an old guy up there. A couple of years back, he had a Merc. And he used to literally drive right into the road, or stick his nose right out. A good metre before he even stopped to look. Rather than stop at the junction and creep forward, he'd just drive out. Pretty hair-raising if you come down there at a rate of knots. As I have been known to do. Yes, feeling a lot better on her today. Let's hope we get some decent weather. We had a day of rain yesterday. About four, three, three days rain predicted. Oh, I shan't be bothering. Just going to get some fuel. And I was looking. The amount of money I saved in fuel over the last four months. I wonder when he's going to turn right. Probably when his wheel turns for the roundabout. Do you think it'll reset? Beat him. Yeah. I 
hard smell from the preserve factory. Tip tree jams or tip tree preserves. That smelt very pickly. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I think it's making me hungry. It's just a ramble, isn't it? I haven't got anything much other than ask that question. I'm pretty sure. You appreciate the old short one. <laughs> so, do winter putter awayers air to summer riders? Actually, know that their riding standards have dropped or their control standards have dropped. Wow, now if you've been watching my videos, we haven't seen traffic like this in a long time. I suspect everybody's seen it as, ah, life can go back to normal. And I doubt very much. I wonder if Shell is open. Let's take a ride around and see if my Shell station's open. They closed it down at the start of the virus. And I don't know if that's because Shell are in trouble nationally. Uh, they're talking about uh, some serious financial implications for Shell, aren't they? So did they close this station down permanently? Or did they just shut it because of Covid? Be interesting to see. And I like my Shell fuel, it's better than the old... Uh... No, still shut, look. Bloody hell, are they knocking it down? Ooh, well, wow. Hmm. Improving facilities. Well, there was nothing wrong with them. What they mean is making it bigger so they can sell more. That was a lovely little station. Um, it was always busy. You never had to queue there. So the pumps were adequate. The shop sold a complete range. So, uh, keep watching, because I suspect it's going to be interesting. In the meantime, I've got to put some supermarket guns in it. Which doesn't please me. Ugh. I'm not a fan of supermarket petrol. I'm pretty sure it uh, gunges the tank up.
that took some time. Ah, reset my uh, reset my odometer. I like to keep a track on my MPG. Anybody else do that? Or am I just anal? Yes, I read on the internet about that look like my old bike about the various miles per gallon that people get out of these bikes. Quite frankly I'm amazed at some of the mileages some of the people get. Some get a lot less than me, but then I think they thrash them. But I'm probably in the lower half of MPG. But then I do tend to give her some beans. Obviously not on video. And if I'm going to have a mad 10 minutes, I'll turn the video off. So if I do have a a misfortune. The police can't look at my video and say, well, look at him, he was speeding when he had his accident. <laughs> I'm a bugger. But then, as you know, I tend to pick appropriate places. There's a couple of roads around here. You can speed quite safely. And that's the key word. They are safe roads. And if there's any other traffic, you can see it miles away, so you can slow down appropriately. Um, I don't like speeding when there are people or there are traffic. One section of the road I like, there are no farmers, gateways or accesses no hedge you can see for about three miles and if there's nothing on it yeah i give her beans but if there's a car on it in the distance so i just sit and wait anyway i think that's enough really isn't it make a short video for a change you guys hunker down for this weather that's coming have fun smile at the miserable buggers Above all, be happy.